Get ready to rock a new biography series on A&E chronicles the highs and the lows of some of the most famous and infamous hard rock legends. This week we get a backstage pass into the life of former twisted sister frontman Dee Snyder. Kristen chatted with Dee this week about what kept him going. Take a look. He was one of the greatest frontmen in history. Dee Snyder, nobody could rival him. He was going to drag you kicking and screaming into having a good time. I challenge 35,000 people to a fist fight. Dee Snyder, so good to have you here on Great Day Washington. It is great to be here. <laughs> I'm so excited about this biography that's premiering this Sunday on A&E. Not only was I enjoying the music, which we all do, of course, but your story of joining Twisted Sister, rejoining with Twisted Sister. I mean, it's such a roller coaster you had. Yeah, you know, they once, I never did drugs. I never drank, but I drink a lot of coffee. They once <laughs> threatened to fire me for being too caffeinated. So it's been a rocky road, let me tell you. <laughs> well, one thing, you, are, you open up in this biography. Your, your highest of highs when Twisted Sister was on top, the lowest of lows for you when nobody wanted anything to do with you. How did you all, or how did you specifically, keep going? You went bankrupt. You had to live out of a, you know, back in your parents' home. How did you keep going? You know, credit where credit's due. I mean, I, I have a partner in crime, and her name's Suzette. Mm. And uh, we've been together 48 years. And as you'll see in the bio, she did the hair. She did the makeup. She did the costumes. She has been my constant supporter. And no matter how bad things got, I never, because I, I met her when I had nothing. We we got everything together. We lost, I lost it all. Yeah. I never thought for a minute she would leave, and she didn't. She's always been by my side, supporting me and cheering I me on. That. So God bless Suzette. <laughs> God bless Suzette. We love her, of course, and the outfits, the hair, everything. But you always knew what you wanted to do. And I'm with you on that boat. Like, I always knew this is what I wanted to do, but it doesn't always, it's not an easy path. There are times where you feel like you plateau. So how, why, why did you never give up? You know, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm, I'm, it is, you know, my, my brothers used to, uh, like, say with jealous that from the time I was nine years old, I knew I wanted to be a rock star. I want to be around nine. So, and I never lost track of that was what I was going to do. And they said, you've always known what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for me, nobody else thought I had it in me. Okay. I mean, nobody else said, oh yeah, rock star. When I look at you, D, I say, this kid's going to be famous. No, a matter of fact, my parents kept just trying to do everything they could to stop me from pursuing a dead end career. That's what they saw it as, a dead end. So, um, you know, it's great to have the dream, but it's, it's, it's tough when you're your only cheerleader until right. I met Suzette. Yes, until you met Suzette, then you had her. Um, yeah. What I love so much, and not that this was much of a surprise learning about you, but fun to see it happening on screen, is your bravado, your ego. You are not afraid to call people out if they weren't clapping, if they were throwing stuff at you. It's just like, gosh, to be able to have that bravado, it was amazing to see. So one of the things I hope people get to, to see out of this bio is something that I'm least known for, really, and that is being a front man and a pretty damn good one. And a front mm -hmm. man is not a singer. They're, they are they are not, you know, just because you sing doesn't mean you're a front man. Just because you, you're a front man doesn't mean you can sing. Uh, but being a front man is that guy who has to connect with the audience, relate to the audience, capture the audience, bring the audience in, read the audience. Yeah. And so, it's sometimes they're, they're loving you, and that's easy when they're loving you. But it's when they're <laughs> hating you that you do things like challenge 35,000 people to fight you. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, they saw my the look in my eyes. They said, this crazy New Yorker, he ain't kidding. <laughs> he, he's ready to go. And and, and and a matter of fact, it won the day. I mean, the tide, when, after I threatened to fight everybody, they just stopped throwing things and said, wow, these guys are crazy. We like crazy. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it, it went from there. We can be friends with crazy. That's for sure. Well, thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> Being so vulnerable too, D. We really appreciate that. It's so wonderful to meet you. You know what? Life has ups and downs. Everybody falls. People, but the thing idea is to get back up and keep moving forward. That's an old saying, mm -hmm. but people need to share their, people got to see that, oh, I'm not the only one falling down. Yeah. Everybody falls. It's got to get back up.
All right, that's our quote of the day for later. Meanwhile, biography Hard Rock Legends airs Sunday nights at 9 p.m. on A&E. Snyder's story airs this Sunday, followed by Alice Cooper's.